President Lincoln, you know, dealt with injustice by calling for a time of repentance, uh, and uh, very serious to President Lincoln and to a lot of Christians. I, it ties in actually to, I don't know if you heard of that, National Day of Prayer verse, it's National Day of, Day of Prayer time, but rarely quoted in its entirety. And it says, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their from wicked, their wicked ways, ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. land yes. So it se seems very clear, like a conditional issue, that if these uh, things are met, then he will listen. But yet, uh, I've, I've rarely heard people say that in its context uh, or in its entirety. Uh, but I know a lot of church people do refer to it in its entirety. So. Well, it's a real concern that I have uh, for our nation during this time. I can remember when President Trump was running the first time in 2016, I heard that verse a lot. It was like mm. a, a very common theme that where we have gotten to as a nation has drifted farther and further away from the foundational principles that this nation was based on. And that is the belief that we all are created by our Father, God in heaven, and we're all created equal with certain rights. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we're blessed. We are blessed to live in this country. We're blessed by God. And if, when we drift farther and farther away from those foundational principles, the more we get in, into, into trouble as a nation. And, mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I do believe that there is, of course I believe that there's hope for our country to start to turn back. And I think that's what we need to do, is begin to turn back to God. Um, but we do, as the scripture says, we, we need to recognize that uh, recognize where we have, or we as the human being have failed in following God's will and guidance for our life. And we need to recognize that and turn back. It's through that recognition and turning our hearts and our minds back to God, seeking His will in our life. That's what will heal our land. It'll, if we open ourselves up to the Spirit uh, to, to, to speak through us, to help us in the way we think about things and listening more to other people instead of you know, being only after our own selfish interests, that is where uh, we continue to have hope for our country.